Have you ever doubled on two whitetails out of the same tree stand? How about with a crossbow? Devoted DOD team member Dan Thurston and friend Randy were about to have not one, but a few memorable sits. Let's sit in and see how this hunt unfolds. This segment of DOD TV is brought to you by Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Boy, it sure is windy up here. <laughs> oh, yeah. Excuses, excuses are ready. Right. Yeah, excuses. I got one yeah. word for you, Dan. Documentation. <laughs> All righty then. I don't think I've shot many field fish in it. Oh yeah, I gotta try that. I gotta learn how to cock this thing. Okay, Grandpa, let's get her pulled up here. Good grief. <laughs> Holy cow. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> Randy, what am I doing wrong? Man, grab a hold of that. <laughs> Come on, Grandpa. Is there a winch on the back of that? Watch it. Oh, that's embarrassing. Oh, oh. embarrassing out there. They're <laughs> different down there in North Carolina now. <laughs> Good Lord. Oh, that, oh, that, <laughs> that hurts. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Pull. Pull. Now, forget all that. I'm going to cock this thing. <laughs> you better get a hernia belt on. <laughs> You're using your arms, that's why. Yeah! Uh, he, he, he can't straighten up now, but he is. You know, I've never killed a deer with a crossbow. You know, this is going to be something new, a new page, something different to try. Wyoming was just a, a great opportunity I had a couple years ago and loved it, so I decided to go back. Yep. Yeah, actually, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be the big 5-0 coming up. All right, I'm going to keep it on 65. I kind of pulled one off there. Hey, kind of like Mark did, you know. I'm hoping my luck's the same as his. It must be. I'm off to a good start here with a warning. Nice guy. I think he just wanted to visit. Anyway, you guys get an antelope. <laughs> Happy birthday. <laughs> Thanks a lot. It feels so good to be back in Wyoming. I tell you, we have had such good times out here in the years past. It's almost like a kid in a candy store. You just have so many deer to see every day. Lush alfalfa bottoms. Deer would funnel up and out of them into pine tree draws. We went in and found a particular area that we thought looked good. A small pinch point in that timber. Big anticipation for the morning. down Dan. Good job. <laughs> All right. Why do they always have to stop obstructed by a pine tree limb? I have no idea but it usually happens that way. Randy took a great shot on him. You know we hadn't been hunting but about a half hour we decided heck let's just trade places. Good friend Randy Bryant shot a really nice deer right here. We've been seeing a lot of deer come up this draw here up this trail so we decided still plenty early we just do a switcheroo here and uh, maybe we'll get lucky and get a double here so randy took the camera i took the crossbow talk about a level of excitement
the same tree. We got in here plenty early. Deer just weren't moving right off the bat. It's starting to get a little light. The wind is picking up just a little bit. Randy got a good shot on his. We wanted to let him lay. We traded places knowing that there's another big deer that's been coming up through here. Wouldn't you know it? My deer's a little bigger than Randy's. <laughs> <laughs> Came a lot of miles to get this deer, but we got him down now. We got him. <laughs> How about that? A double right out of the tree. Same tree. Within 30 minutes of one another. Who would have ever believed that we could trade places in a deer stand and actually harvest a deer within 30 minutes of one another? I mean, I've done it. Turkey hunting, a double is fairly common. I've done one with Mark one time, but I tell you what. To get a double deer in the same stand within a half hour, boy, it's just phenomenal. I couldn't be more happy. What a great hunt here in Wyoming. You know, the great state of Wyoming has got some serious antelope population. We had been hunting uh, mule deer in the morning, and then midday we'd do our antelope hunts. The peak of the rut for the antelope was definitely on at this time. These alfalfa big bales would be lined up perfectly and we could walk from one to the next to the next. Finally, we had the opportunity. He was about 41 yards. Exciting. We've been doing a spot and stock around all these big bales out in this alfalfa. We'd set in the blind earlier. It's kind of cooled off and got overcast weather, so that they're just not hitting the water that well. So we decided we'd just do some spot and stock through these big hay fields. This is a hoot. This is awesome. Awesome. I tell you, this stocking is so much fun versus a uh, sitting in a blind by a watering hole. It's where we've been doing, but uh, it's overcast, cooled off, and uh, they're just not watering that much. So we thought, what the heck, let's try stocking from hay bale to hay bale. We got him to come right there, and what a shot. It was so much fun. This stocking is so much fun versus sitting in a blind. So couldn't be more happy. This is a great time in Wyoming. You know, the ranch we're hunting at, the north border of it is right on the Montana line. We were really gonna focus on mule deer in Montana. We made several sets trying to get mule deer to come right in under our stands. We'd watch them pattern the exact same thing day after day. We'd hang a set, and when you know it, they'd make a different travel corridor that next morning. We hung in that tree for two days because for two days before that, we saw the deer come up by us. We moved the set down. Third day, here they go, right under our tree. I finally said, I'm gonna be here another month, so it might be time to go whitetail hunting again. Well, the bachelor group of all bachelor groups came through. That early September in Montana is just awesome. Up and out of the bottoms, here they come, right up this draw, perfectly under us, like a parade. Finally saw the deer that I wanted to harvest. Me. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Can't believe all those bucks coming through here. We have worked so hard for these deer. I tell you, there's some more down here, so <laughs> I'm excited. This is awesome. <sighs> you know, I was definitely concerned about that shot. It was back just a little, but the height and the angle of our stand, really, the arrow went through, came out between his front legs. I think I heard him crash back here. You can see him from here. He's right there. Come on. Six days in Wyoming, 
four days in Montana. I don't know how many times I've wanted to take whitetail in other states than Kansas. And boy, did this trip pay off for me big. So I couldn't be more happy. This big sky country in Montana is just awesome and we had a great time. We saw deer every day. The opportunities are multiple. The mule deer will give you havoc. Uh, next year, I'm gonna try to get after mule deer only. I keep saying that every year. Just what a great time all in all here in Montana. And I guarantee you, we'll be back. new videos every week so make sure to click that subscribe button and check out all of our amazing content this episode of dod tv was brought to you by mossy oak